Hey guys. Hi. It only shows me how many are here, not who's here. So say hi when you get on here. I'm gonna do this really fast today because I have a client coming to my house in one hour. I have to get it all cooked, all cleaned up, everybody fed perfectly straight in order to do her hair and it's not smell like Asian chicken in here. So <laughs> I'm gonna get right to it. I have put my spaghetti squash in the oven. I put it in about 20, 30 minutes ago because typically, depending on the size that it takes, it can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I'm gonna gauge this one somewhere around 45 minutes. So I'm gonna check it here in about 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to put the chicken in the skillet um, with this seasoning packet. I love this one. This is teriyaki chicken. A lot of them taste really weird, but this one doesn't. I really like it. I got this one at Kroger. So if you have Kroger grocery store, you might try to search for it. Um, in the second skillet, I'm going to put all of the vegetables. Hey guys, if you're just joining, nice to see you. Um, I'm going to put all of the vegetables in the second skillet, and then at the end, we're going to combine it together. <laughs> Pepper's getting mad. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm going to turn that on. This seasoning packet, um, you... Hi! Hi, Mom. I'm glad you're here. Um... This seasoning packet, it wants you to marinate your chicken in this garlic, not garlic, ginger packet first. So I'm gonna put it in this dish, and cut it up, put it in there first. It is hot at my house. Is it warm where you guys are today? I know I have people from like all over the world on here. Karen's moving into summer and we're moving into, no, other way around. We're moving into summer, Karen's moving into winter. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut this in bite-sized pieces. super honest with you guys today I'm like so angry right now like so angry I'm about to cry I'm like choking back tears right now this um this inflation is out of control it's absolutely out of control so I'm just gonna cook <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do because that's what I can control And it's a great way to save money. If you're looking to save money right now, cooking for yourself rather than eating out is a great way to save money. I'm gonna get to the comments in just a second as soon as I get this chicken in the ginger sauce. Because if you're just joining, I have a client coming to get her hair done in less than an hour. So, time is of the essence. Okay. All you do now is saute it and then add the sauce. Yep. Okay. Ooh, what? That packet's 
because I can, hey, that I can add the um, vegetables straight in with the chicken. That's not a bad idea. I didn't think about that. I was going to put it in a separate skillet. I'm going to check the spaghetti squash, let that sit for a second. So if you're just joining, I put the spaghetti squash in about 30 minutes ago. And it is the perfect texture. So this is going to, you know how you get lo mein noodles at like a Mexican, not Mexican, Asian restaurant? Um, this is going to serve as the noodles because we're trying to do a lower carb. So, I'm going to turn the oven off. Those bad boys are done. I'm going to set them over here. Okay. Yay, that worked out well. Alright, let's add the chicken. Tell me what you're making for dinner if you have already thought that far ahead. And if you have, good for you. See what you guys are saying. Yes, I am doing hair twice a day. And now that my youngest is going to school in the morning, I'm doing a block in the morning, a block in the afternoon, and a block in the evening. <laughs> Trying to pull all this money together and make this work. <laughs> To get all those seeds out of there. I like to pick the white parts out as well just because they don't taste as good as the red. Knocked at our door, and so now Pepper's gonna go see. 
see who it is. Okay, I'm doing the carrot next because I want these to go in the same skillet as the chicken because the package is a genius. And I'm going to do the vegetables that take a longer time to cook first so that they don't become mushy by the time the carrots are done. So specifically the red pepper can become very mushy if you cook it longer than a minute or two. Same with the zucchini. So I'm going to put the carrot in now and then add the other things here in a little bit. Theodore's going to hate this one. He always has no onion, no red pepper. <laughs> okay, zucchini. I'm just going to use the end of it, so I'm going to peel some of this off. And all of these vegetables only stay in the skillet for like two minutes. So make sure everything is cooked first before you add them. to put in this dish, but we hate peas, so I'm not going to. <laughs> we meaning I. <laughs> That was like six cloves of garlic. You guys know how I get with garlic. <laughs> A little crazy. Alright, this is done. So, I'm going to add this seasoning packet. It tastes so good. And the rest of the vegetables because we are almost done. Garlic and everything else. Yes? Alright. I'm going to shred some of the spaghetti squash for my boats that I pre-cooked and show y'all what this looks like. Turn that off. And 
of course you can make this with a rice base and you can also make it with traditional noodles if you want. For the spaghetti squash, I cut it open, I pulled the guts out, and then I put on oil, olive oil, and garlic salt for seasoning. And then I put it in the oven at 350 for about 40, 45 minutes. Check it after 30. If it's super hard to pull apart, it's not ready yet. But don't let it go too far because it will turn to mush and it won't have these nice spaghetti style grains to it. Um, yes. Look at this. What? How long did that take? Like 20 minutes max, 15 minutes? Well, besides pre-cooking the spaghetti squash. Dinner! It's ready. So you guys have to try this. Super easy, great for you. It's pretty much any um, diet friendly. So, enjoy. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I hope you have blessings overflowing coming your way and I will see you again next Tuesday. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. Just watch the community tab and I'll let you guys know. So, thanks for being here.